Um, and I want to get more conversation when you talked about um, how do we train that positive expectation? How do we, because honestly, on the internet, I can have anything I want. I can find any information, find any product in the world. Google is like the dopest little thing ever. Um, and I can, I have a positive expectation when I come to your workshops to speak with you. I have positive expectations on so many things in my life, but it's, I've practiced that, and I'd like to figure out a way to practice some of those things. Well, that are that's why, you see, if we talk to you conceptually, if we talk to you about the laws, we can achieve instant resonance with you. In other words, we can feel you clicking with what we're saying here. You know what we're saying, you know it. But if we were to talk to you, or if we were to talk to Esther about her broken table right after they dropped it, it, it that's the wrong subject. Okay. For to, to, to try to approach her. Uh, get someone into the vortex. So it's about, it's about caring so much about being in the vortex that you're willing to choose the subject that makes it most likely for you to be in there. That really is what it's about. If you'll get in the vortex and then talk about your issues, the vortex will spit you out, but then use something easy to get in and then bring your issue in and the vortex will spit you out. But then use something easy to get in. And before you know it, you'll be able to stay in the vortex while you talk about anything because you will have convinced yourself of your power and your clarity and your worthiness. You will have reminded yourselves of the laws of the universe. What you just said to us is some subjects are easier for me than others. And, and we notice that the more general you are in your approach to a subject, the easier it is to get into the vortex. And the more specific you are, then sometimes the harder it is to get in there. But we also know that once you get in and have trained yourself in, the more specific you are, the better ride you have. True. In other words, to, to know your power. And, and it's, as you said that magic happened when I was looking for a ticket and and if I could remember that feeling I would never again worry about anything in other words how cared for am I how how prepared is the universe to yield to me everything not that I need everything that I want the universe is prepared all of the cooperative components have been assembled. What's it going to take to get me to be a cooperative component? Well, you got to stop complaining. You got to stop worrying. You got to be more optimistic. You got to be less pessimistic. You just, you, and that takes training. Anything else? <laughs> <laughs> talk about, talk about the vortex and less about what is, because you cannot look back and forward at the same time. You know that when you drive cannot look back and current reality is back that's dope now how do you know how to think about it let's talk about it from an emotional basis so let's let's look at current reality Let, let's look at current reality only for a little while and feel boredom descend immediately it just does whether it's a relationship whether it's what you're doing for a living whether it's the new house that you just finished in other words if you're just looking at current reality it gets boring really really fast now why is that now intellectuals and and people who want you to be cheerful will say to you well what's the matter with you everybody in the world would like to have your life and here you are bored with your life you want to just look them square in the eyes and say it's a universal principle <laughs> we are not meant to stand still we are not, it is impossible for us to stand still. So when I have a habit of looking at what is with, with what we call future, with what Abraham calls who I really am calling at, calling me, when I'm looking at what is, I'm pulling myself apart. It, that is the universal law of the matter, you see. So you, you perhaps should have had them sign a disclaimer when they came in. We, we maybe should put, you can't go back. You know can't too much. Back. You know too much. You can't go back. In other words, once, once you know about this vortex, once you understand who you really are, once you get a whiff of what your emotions mean, you, you know too much. You can't hold back. You cannot be less than you have vibrationally become and ever feel good. I agree. You got to at least be moving in the direction of that, you see. So, 
so somebody upsets you maybe someone's rude to you your correct response is you're rude which caused me to create a nicer version of you but I don't have the willpower to look at the nicer version of you that I created I'm looking at the part of you that caused me to create it and I'm using you in your current state as my excuse to prevent myself from being the evolved being that the rascally you caused me to become that's that's the reality of it in other words I anytime you're looking at what is you're holding yourself from what you've become let that settle in let that settle in that 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 is bigger than everything that you've ever heard all wrapped into one in other words every emotion is about I've expanded every negative emotion is about I've expanded further than I'm letting myself be and that's because of what I'm looking at every positive emotion is because I've expanded and I'm going with the flow of my expansion and think about elation love appreciation how do they feel interest how does that feel think about boredom how does that feel anger frustration what isness and what isness this is what we are wanting to convince you of and 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 you are wonderful to even consider it when you live in a dimension where you've been hanging your hat on physical hooks for so long in other words we get it that this physical stuff is intoxicating but it's not where it's at it's where it's been um was one thing you said earlier uh, one of the things I wrote down is um... have you noticed with your kids pardon us but you have to say this have you noticed with kids with little people they'll say now what <laughs> what do you mean now what you haven't even got your iPod out of the box <laughs> now what now what now what now what now what they're just they 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 Luke is four and he taught his grandmother how to download a song <laughs> in other words they, they are so ready for what's next and 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 you are too it's just been sort of trained out of you so behaviorally you tolerate it but emotionally you're freaking out yeah 